Organisms rely on biochemical processes to live. Bio means living. So biochemical refers to the chemical processes that occur in living things. A process is something that occurs in a series of steps and has inputs and outputs. So for example, you could consider the manufacturing of a smartphone as a process. The steps in the process would include its design, manufacturing, marketing, distribution, and finally being sold to the consumer. The inputs of this process would be the electronics, glass and plastic that are used to manufacture the phone, and the output, of course, would be the completed phone. Biochemical processes are similar in that they occur in a series of steps and have inputs and outputs. The inputs of biochemical processes include biomacromolecules, which are carbohydrates, proteins, lipids, and nucleic acids. The outputs of biochemical processes include altered biomacromolecules and inorganic wastes. The steps in biochemical processes vary depending on which process it is, but there are several steps in between the inputs and outputs of the process. So for example, photosynthesis is an example of a biochemical process. The inputs of the process include carbon dioxide and water. And of course, the outputs of the process are oxygen, which in this case is considered an inorganic waste product, and glucose. Other examples of biochemical processes include digestion, cellular respiration, protein synthesis, and cell division. Biochemical processes occur and are controlled at the cellular level. The sum of the thousands of chemical reactions that occur constantly in each living cell is known as cellular metabolism. You may have heard of people referring to themselves as having a high metabolism. What they are saying effectively is that biochemical processes in their body, including the digestion and processing of food, occur at a fast rate. And rate refers to the speed at which a biochemical process occurs, how fast or slow it converts the inputs of the process into the outputs. The rate of a biochemical process is controlled by enzymes. The rate of cellular metabolism varies amongst organisms. For example, the purple-throated carob, which is a type of hummingbird, has a very high metabolism, which you might expect considering it uses so much energy to stay in flight and to move its wings so rapidly. The reactions in cellular metabolism do not occur randomly. They are all controlled and regulated by enzymes. So enzymes are responsible for controlling the rate of chemical reactions, the type of chemical reactions that occur, and the duration of the chemical reactions. Without enzymes, the reactions that occur in living organisms would be so slow that they would not be fast enough to maintain living organisms. Biochemical processes can be categorised by whether they build up or break down molecules. Those in which complex molecules are broken down into simpler ones are referred to as catabolic reactions. This occurs when food is digested. Larger molecules, such as fats, proteins, and carbohydrates, represented by this longer molecule or larger molecule here, are broken down into smaller molecules. The opposite of this process is, of course, when simple molecules are joined together to form more complex molecules. And these reactions are referred to as anabolic reactions. An example is when you join amino acids 
together to form proteins. You may have heard the term anabolic before in reference to anabolic steroids and bodybuilding. And this is because anabolic steroids are hormones that enable cells to increase their production of protein, particularly in muscle cells. The two most important metabolic pathways involved in the transfer of energy to living systems are photosynthesis and cellular respiration. Can you figure out which one would be categorized as catabolic and which one as anabolic? Well, let's take a look. In photosynthesis, you're taking carbon dioxide and water and converting them into a more complex molecule called glucose. In this particular case, you are synthesizing more complex molecules from simpler molecules. Therefore, photosynthesis is an anabolic reaction. In cellular respiration, on the other hand, you're taking a complex molecule of glucose and breaking it down into simpler molecules of carbon dioxide and water. So because this is a biochemical process that's breaking down a complex molecule into simpler ones, it is a catabolic reaction. Biochemical processes can also be categorized by whether they release energy or require energy. Exergonic reactions are those that release energy. Exo stands for out, so energy is being released out of these reactions. And this occurs when bonds in molecules are broken and energy as is released as heat. So for example, in cellular respiration, glucose is broken down into simpler molecules. When these bonds in the glucose are broken, they release energy. The opposite type of reaction occurs when molecular bonds are formed, and this is called an endergonic reaction. Endo means in, so energy is required to be input into these reactions. The formation or synthesis of molecules requires energy. So for example, photosynthesis is an endergonic reaction because it requires the formation of bonds in order to create glucose from less complex molecules. There is a relationship between biochemical processes that build up or break down molecules and whether they will be catabolic and anabolic. All anabolic reactions join smaller molecules into larger molecules by forming chemical bonds between the small molecules. Because forming chemical bonds requires energy, all anabolic reactions are endergonic. All catabolic reactions break down larger molecules into smaller molecules by breaking chemical bonds. Because breaking chemical bonds releases energy, all catabolic reactions are exergonic. Cells use a clever way of maximizing energy usage in biochemical processes. Cells use the energy that is released from catabolic reactions to fuel anabolic reactions. For example, the energy released from cellular respiration, which is a catabolic reaction, is then used in anabolic reactions carried out by the cell. So in summary, organisms rely on biochemical processes to live. These biochemical processes occur in a series of steps and generally have inputs and outputs. A set of biochemical reactions that occur in a cell is called cellular metabolism. 
enzymes are responsible for controlling the rate, type and duration of biochemical processes. Biochemical processes that break down complex molecules into smaller ones are referred to as catabolic reactions. And those processes that synthesize complex molecules from simple molecules are referred to anabolic reactions. Exergonic reactions release energy, which occurs when bonds and molecules are broken. And endergonic reactions require energy, and this is when bonds and molecules are formed.